Alright guys, welcome back to Cabin Vapors. Um, tonight I'm doing a double feature. Before I just did the uh, Pro Tank 2 with my mom, but she took the night off here. So tonight I'm basically doing a simple juice review on um, a local uh, uh, e-juice company that's uh, not too far away from me that makes home home juice. So um, the company is D&D &D Vapor which is out of Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania here, which is pretty close to me, I'd say within 40 miles. And here in Pennsylvania, let me tell you, there is not many vapor shops. Um, the closest one to me, I live in central Pennsylvania, right along the, uh, the Appalachian Mountains, so um, there's nothing, nothing at all, maybe 40 miles to how close I am, or 50, 60 miles. So I have to go out of the way if I want to actually go to a brick and mortar and order, or go to the store and get juice from them. Otherwise, I just go to Mount Baker Vapor and order juice from them. I get free shipping, and anything over $15, you get a free juice, with, which is a tremendous deal from them. Heads up to you guys, you're doing great. But anyway, as I said before, I am um, doing a juice review on D&D Vapor, which is out of uh, Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania here, about 40 miles away from where I am. And um, tonight's flavor is by far, by far, my favorite from this company, which is Apple Fritter. This stuff, I swear to you, is like fall time, Christmas, into like mid-February, March time type of feel. Um, usually when you get like an apple flavor, to me it's usually like it tastes like apple or caramel apple or there's some type of influence to it. Never find like usually a straight up apple unless you go with a, like a Mount Baker green apple and you get the solid like Macintosh flavor or something like that. But with the apple fritter here, this is like a homey, um, flavorful, just a full vaping, um, pleasureful vape in my opinion. And their juice is made fresh every month. You will not get an old flavor from this company. Um, so to give you the specs on what the juice is and... Um, what I'm vaping on basically is going to be very hard to see, but let's see if you can see it. I am vaping on an 80 VG, 20 B, uh, 20 PG, which is let me see here. Oh, there's the production date, which is 114, and I am vaping on a 12 nicotine. Okay, let me give you a little brief uh, past tense what I what I vaped on personally. Um. When I first started out, I, uh, I I dabbled with the 24 milligram nicotines because I just quit smoking. I wanted to move into vaping, but still get the pleasure that I got from a cigarette in a vape. So I wanted to get the full nicotine, feel the full you know impact of what a cigarette would give me. You know, so um, since then I'd say about what like uh like three months later now I'm already down to a 12 nicotine, which is half of what I was at. Which is fantastic, I think. Um, and personally, the way I look at vaping here is more of like a way to get off cigarettes instead of um, a, a continuation of the habit of nicotine. Uh, I personally, you know, I love vaping. This is why I make the videos. This is why I talk to you guys and explain my love for vaping as you guys have a love for vaping also. But um, besides that point all alone... Tonight, I will be vaping on my rebuildable drip atomizer, which is an IGO W. I will show you here. And just to let you guys know, I will be definitely doing a review on rebuildables. I haven't gotten there yet because I want to start with my beginning vapors, just in case like you guys just got to this channel and you're just learning. I want you guys to know the basics, basically. Um, but I am vaping my coil that I made at a 1.6 ohm resistance and that's my battery life right there on my MVP version 2 and uh, I'll give you guys a little look here of what my IGO W wrap looks like. It's going to be very hard to see but what I did here is I took um, what I do is I take 30 gauge Canthal wrap I um, take just a standard you know like a screwdriver head a certain millimeter width and um, all I do is I take a certain width wrap the coil, seven wraps I did with this one to be exact, and um, I put it in there, screw down both the screw holes, take a little piece of canthal, twist it up real good around a piece of cotton wick, 
spool it through the 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 canthal wire um, coils that I made, and bam, then I soak it with some juice, tapes perfectly. Um, a big, big shout out here to the iGoW. Cost me sixteen dollars in total with free shipping with this. Beautiful, beautiful drip atomizer, rebuildable drip atomizer. Completely in love with it. This is usually, I'd say about 95% of the time, I use this. Um, the reasons why I use a rebuildable drip atomizer is because um, I don't like to be so committed to a certain flavor. I, I In the vaping realm, you have so many flavors. You got, like as I say, apple fritter here, and you got butterscotch from Mount Baker, and you got cinnamon roll, all these different wide varieties of flavors. So why, why restrict yourself to three milliliters of a juice if you don't have to, you know? So that's why I'm a big fan of these uh, rebuildable drip atomizers. But anyway, I'm going to take a little toot of this stuff for you and uh, tell me what you think about the vapor quality. Completely brilliant. I love the vapor quality from this company. And the flavor, out of this world. Completely apple fritter. Completely like you're at your grandma's house. You just sat down. She's bringing you the turkey. She's bringing you the stuffing, mashed potatoes, cranberry sauce. And you just hit that last part of the dessert. She pulls out of the oven. What is it? It's apple fritter. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. She just pulled that out of the oven. Steamy hot right out. That's what's in this tank right here. That's the best way I can describe this flavor. Amazing. Just as if it came out of the oven. It's it, it's perfectly apple fritter. It, it, it's pleasing to the senses. Amazing flavor out of this world. And plus the vapor quality from this juice is awesome. Um, you can research d d Vapor online here. I believe they're 10 milliliters sell for about $7. Which I got a 30 milliliter for I believe $11.99. Not too bad. Not too bad. Very, very good price for a, um, for a juice company. But, um, let me give you a couple more vapes off this to tell you, uh, how you think. As you can tell, amazing vapor quality. Pours out of your mouth like crazy. And, um, you know, I, I gotta rave about this juice. It's one of my favorites. Um, flavor wise, it's tremendous out of this world. I love it personally. So if you wanna check them out, check them out at DD &D Vapor. Search it on Google. You'll find it right away. And this is one of the first flavors that are on the list apple fritter. Now, um, they are customizable. You can get um, up to four, uh, 24 nicotine down to zero nicotine. Special order, I believe, on zero nicotines, if I'm not right. And um, I think anything from 80 PG, 20 VG to 100 VG on these guys. So completely customizable. You can, you know, get whatever balance you like. And they come with a childproof cap. So if you have a child, you don't have to worry about them trying to get into your juice and, you know, getting poisoned. So, basically, that's the review here on this juice here of uh, d and Vapors Apple Fritter. Now, let me take another toot for you guys, and I'll let you go for the night. Alright, guys. Take it easy. Have a nice night.